And here we are, second day of practice. Uh, got four players today. We were supposed to give Coach Brian Kelly, but he didn't show up. But we're out here with another post-practice instant analysis report. Buddy Sanji here with Mike Scarborough. And of course, this is brought to you by the Smoky Investment Team in Alexandria. I'll talk about them a little bit later in the show. But uh, we were given about 20 minutes of practice and then we were immediately ushered inside uh, to do player interviews. But uh, they were doing a lot of situational work. Unfortunately, I think, unless you saw something different, buddy, I only got to see two quarterbacks instead of four. Yeah. By the way, of course, uh, Coach Kelly did have some recruits here, so uh, he uh, delayed uh, meeting and talking with us. We'll do that next Saturday. But a beautiful Chamber of Commerce day out there. You and I were talking before practice. This is one of the best spring practices weather-wise. When we were out here earlier on the first day, wind blowing, this was a perfect day, and we've got some tidbits for you on this Saturday afternoon. Yeah, I, I thought uh, looking at the receivers today, I, I, I really liked the way Brian Thomas looked. I think Jack Besh looked very well. Uh, I was watching the quarterbacks that weren't on the field. Jaden Daniels and Miles Brennan got the reps when we were inside, but I was watching Joe Sloan's really in the back with Nussmeyer and Walker Howard uh, coaching those guys. But what was remarkable to me was kind of Brian Kelly playing a little bit of traffic cop. Uh, you know, the, he had a, a different unit coming out on the field and he runs out in the middle and says, no, not yet. I mean, so the coach is coach, but Brian Kelly's like the ringleader. And he's watching, he's observing, he's taking notes. And uh, he, he's got a whole syllabus of what he's wanting to get done. And uh, he's monitoring how it's getting done. And then he'll go back and tweak it after the day and institute some new changes for tomorrow and, and things that he thinks can be done a little bit better. But uh, one thing, that we gathered from the player interviews that was uh, pretty nice was it to a man they all said the, how efficient everything is being run, the, the attention to detail, how they don't uh, uh, let them uh, you know slough off anything in any way. They want everything done a certain way and it all builds towards a bigger picture down the road. A lot of new names and numbers of so folks. I was watching the defenses uh, secondary specifically and LSU, you fans are going to love seeing 24 and 22. Two big corners. We talked about it last time. These guys are going to be able to play, press, and jam. Uh, Matt House in year one is going to have some, uh, some definite uh, versatility. And the two guys coming from Arkansas, uh, 12 and 13, man, you got to love Joe Fouché and, of course, Greg. Uh, those guys are already communicating. By the way, Mike Jones Jr. and Greg Penn, Look to be your starting linebackers inside at this point. Uh, a lot of depth on the defensive line. We'll get into some of the other players. Good to see Jack Besh in his national spot, uh, obviously, in the uh, in this lot. And uh, as you said, uh, we just get a glimpse of it, but I did see Garrett Nussmeyer make some really good throws today in small windows. Uh, this practice report, uh, incident analysis report, is brought to you by the Bart Smokey, the Smokey investment team in Alexandria. There's no better people on earth. Uh, they have over 45 years of a combined experience in handling their clients' financial needs, and this environment uh, experience does matter. Call Bart or Brian Smokey at 318-448-3201. Again, that's 318-448-3201. Security is offered through LPL Financial, member FINRA slash SIPC, the Smokey Investment Team in Alexandria. Give them a call. They, they are the guys that you want to get all your financial needs taken care of anywhere in the state of Louisiana. You got to you got to realize folks Miles Brennan is cognizant of what it's going to take to win this job at quarterback. Ask Miles what he's working on, certainly staying healthy. Uh, and uh, and look, let's be honest, they're going to have some run uh, run pass options here. So uh, it's going to be interesting as we go through with the four quarterbacks and to see the kind of reps. Oh, by the way, we got a little little tidbit here. We may have something going down that we haven't had in a long time, and it's the hardest thing in the world to talk about a scrimmage that you haven't seen, and I think there's a possibility. We're not letting the cat out the bag yet, but there's a possibility we could actually be watching some of the scrimmages here, and that hasn't happened since, God knows, decades. Yeah, I was joking around with uh, someone in sports information, and about a little something. Oh, we got to go here, there, and you know. She was like, "Oh, bear with." I'm like, "Man, are you kidding me? I am absolutely ecstatic and tickled with the amount of access that th Brian Kelly has given the media. And uh, you know, a lot of people can't stand when the media complain, but I'm here to tell you, uh, what, what they've given us is, is is an absolute breath of fresh air. I, I hope it doesn't change, 
But, um, I mean, we were supposed to have Brian Kelly today. We didn't get him. But in reality, we didn't need to get him today. If, if he would have come out today, it would have been the third time in four days. So uh, we had him Wednesday and again on, on, on Thursday. So, um, and we'll get him uh, early next Saturday. Next, next Saturday, my head set. That's when we get him again next week? Yeah, next Okay. Saturday. But uh, then we have practices in between. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, the, 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 and then of course, it, what also makes it uh, great is the, the, the weather we've had the first two days. I, I hope it holds up. One of the other things that I am watching was going to ask Coach Kelly about it. We will next week. Special teams. Mike, do you realize, Tiger fans, do you realize every specialist that LSU had in the kicking game, whether it's the snapper, the kicker, the placeholder, I mean, uh, the return guy, everybody's different, and uh, we'll talk about that. We have no numbers and no personnel. Is it going to be Nathan Dibbert? Who's going to kick off for Avery Atkins? Who's going to try to fill the shoes of Cade York? All of that. And to me, still, center and tight end are the two spots that I think are open, and we will watch very closely in the spring uh, practice reports. Did you, did you get a look at the centers at all? Uh, uh, it's it's 69, and, and, and of course, uh, uh, I did see uh, uh, some, some guys, Xavier Hill. You know, I think Emory Jones is going to come in. Oh, by the way, for you Cardell Thomas fans, he is still getting reps with the number one, but he's still a little bit heavy. I don't know if you looked at it, but he's a little bit heavy at about 340. And Anthony Bradford's still in the 365 range. They're going to have to get some weight off to, to, to get the mix. And Will Campbell, I watched Will Campbell a little bit. You know him. You covered him. Uh, he is going to be LSU's next great left tackle, big number 66. Yeah, I um, shot a ton of video. They were doing a, a lot of uh, – some. they were getting after pretty good today, even some uh, pretty good hitting despite not wearing pads. Uh, so I'm going to have all that for you loaded up on TigerBait.com. You're going to want to go subscribe. Nobody shoots video uh, better than we do. I load it up in, in its full capacity. So you're going to want to check that out on, on TigerBait.com. And if you're a big LSU fan, uh, we want to have you as a premium subscriber. And, and like I always say, choose the annual package. Uh, when you do that, you're essentially getting three months free versus if you went monthly. So when you do that, you're going to get our, our newsletters, our text alerts for breaking news, and a whole lot more. Corey Connor is looking a little quicker. I don't know if you saw him, but he had a little burst today. John Emery, can he catch the ball out the backfield? But more importantly, can he hold on to the football? That's the quickest way to get taken off the field with a fumble. They're working on that. Uh, finally saw Armani Goodwin. Didn't look 100%, but looks about 95%. And uh, as you alluded to, LSU loaded at wide receiver. Jeray Jenkins, uh, a little gimpy today. Didn't go. Kayshawn Butte in the boot was out here. Trust me, folks, you're not going to worry about the skilled people building it from the, the foundation with the uh, the big uglies on the offensive and defensive line. It's going to be a work in progress. And even Jack Best said, look, we're not going to be a finished product until we get into midway in, in the August fall camp. So a lot of hard work, but trust me, there is attention to detail. And every person on this football team, as well as coach, everybody, accountability, Mike, that's the word all spring. Go to TigerBait.com. I'm gonna be. Look, we got interviews going up on our YouTube channel as well. Uh, if you're seeing this one, B.J. Ojolari, Miles Brennan, uh, Ali Gay, and Jack Besh. They were all fantastic today. And of course, uh, thanks again to the Smoky Investment Team for sponsoring this post practice report. And we'll be bringing you, these out to you after every practice that we're out here. So, uh, see you guys on the other side, and see you on TigerBait.com.